Hi everyone and welcome to this class. In this class I'm going to teach you how to create a splash screen. A splash screen is just like an introductory screen that allows you to to go into another screen. Some of you have probably clicked on applications and then you saw um, something load across and then once you got to 100% you couldn't have access to the next screen. So that's what the splash screen is. All right, something that introduces you to the next screen. All right, so um, of course, if this is your first time using this app, which I doubt it is, you're gonna have to click on this. If this is not your first time, just enter into your, enter your, your code here, right? And access your account. So I'm gonna just click this. All right. So, can... all right. So that was a random account. I doubt I'll come back to this account again. Okay. So, um, yes. Yeah, so I'm, I want to create project. So I'm gonna have to click start new project. To create a project name, there's a rule: no spaces no spaces all right so it's either you are joining the words together or you're using an underscore to differentiate the words so i'm going to try to use um an underscore in this case and how do i go about the underscore it's you holding on the shift key and the dash key mm. The dash key could also be your minus key, like your minus, the key that has your minus on it. So you just hold your shift key down and press that button as well. And then you'll create that, the underscore. So I can go ahead to write screen. So I should have no problem in it right now with my naming. Okay, we're good to go. One of the important things in Splash screens is that it's it's kind of a lot of times shows the logo of the app, right? It shows the logo of the app, the version of the app, the name of the app, and all of those things, right? So we're gonna try to find something that we can use as um, as a logo for you. Um, for you, you probably have some images already on on your laptops or you um, you already downloaded some 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 already, but I can just show you how you can just go and get some random. Apps. I'm just gonna just type random random local images okay let's see how this one looks sound. so this is something that it's random so I'm just going to just use it just for the sake of this course just to show you how to create a splash screen so I'm just going to download this how did I do this right click and then you have this and then you press save image as it's going to bring you here you probably want to re rename this so I'm going to just, I'm just going to call it random image so you probably will be able to recognize it so save now this is going to go straight to my download all right so i'm going to go back to my mit so at this point um i'm going to have to find a way to bring in that logo so this is media and this is upload file this is how you upload a file from your computer into your mit you click on it and it asks you to choose a file choose a file then it takes you to uh, everywhere on your pc then you go to download that's my image there random image i'm going to press open and then you see that i've grabbed it already so i'm going to press ok how you know that you have already is that it's going to show beneath here all right so if I have done that, I have to add the logo to my screen. I have to bring in the image component. All right. 
I don't like the fact that the image component is hanging um, at the far left. So I'm gonna adjust that with the screen. I just clicked on the screen one. I'm gonna adjust the aligned horizontal to center, aligned vertical to center, and that brings the the image component down here. All right. So I'm gonna click back on image so I can be able to change the properties. So when you look at picture, you see that there's none, but we can add something because we already have um, an image from from our computer. So you see it's here already. So when I click on it and I press OK, you see that it shows up. What do I call this app now? So I think I'm only the text box. Uh, okay. So not a, not a text box, a label. Right, that's a label. I'm gonna drag it down here. So the first label, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna just say power, power up. All of this is just to show you how you can, right, create a splash screen. So I'm gonna just increase it to let's say 40. Let's see how big, how big it is. I'm gonna make it fun bold. Uh, I think maybe 35 will be better. 35. Okay. Or I think I, I actually need to reduce this a little bit. So hold on. Let me see what's gonna work. Uh, let me try 14 and see. A 40 and height 40. Okay, I think that's fine. Alright, so we're making progress. Power up. Again. All right, so that's power up, and um, what else? I'm gonna bring it on that label, and this one will just probably say that. Yeah, so I'm gonna make that font bold. I don't think it's necessary to increase the font size, so let it be that way. All right, so now we need something very important, the slider. So I'm going to drag that in. All right, so we need to we need to effect some changes here on the purpose of the slider. The slider is that very thing that will um, move across your screen, like it's loading, right? Then when it gets to the end, 100%, you have access to the next, the next screen, all right. All right, so for our slider, I think for the weed, um, we probably want to, want to be a bit longer, so I'm gonna use um 50%. Let's see how it looks. Mm -hmm. 50, I think that works for me. All right. Okay. Then um, for the maximum value, I want it to be 100, so I'm gonna make it 100. And for the minimum value, I'm gonna change it to zero. So it should start from zero, and maximum value should be 100. Now the thumb position, this thing here is the thumb, posi thumb position. Right now it's at 30, right? So you don't want your thumb position at, at 30. So I think we should just um, erase that and change it to zero. So that the thumb position when we're testing the app should start from here and go to the other side. Then I'll need to also untick this box. Yes, disable that um, thumb enable. Okay, I think we are pretty done with this. 
So you need to close the user interface drawer, go to sensors and quickly add a clock. All right. And when you're done with that, you can go to blocks. All right. So when you are blocks, the first there's a secret. Every component you added on the designer interface, right, will appear here in blocks. So you can see the slider, you can see the clock. So you can always click on any one of them to program them. So I'm going to click on the clock. So I'm going to bring out when clock one timer do. That's what I'm going to bring out. All right. So uh, next thing I want to do is I want to set the slider position. Like I'm, I want to program it how it should grow, how it should grow. All right. To do that, I'm gonna have to click on the slider, and I'm gonna have to find um. I'm gonna bring out this block set a block. I'm gonna change this to turn position because that's what I I actually want. Then I'm gonna slot it in there. This is showing red because nothing has been attached to the other end. All right, now we want the um, tom position to increase by one. So it's like zero, one, two, three, in that order, right? So um, we're gonna have to do some mathematics. We're gonna bring some mathematical operators to help us do that. So I'm gonna go to math. And I need I need a plus block right very good then I go about the slider I get a get block changes to tom position and slot this in here then I'm also gonna go to um to mat again bring out this um zero I'll change that to one because I want to increase by one all right so what is the maximum value again for the term position we said it's it's 100 so this is what we wanted to know so if it gets to 100 then it should open another screen so this means we have to have another skin, screen ready so let's quickly just go back to our um, designer and add another screen very quickly uh, let's just call this um, main screen. I'm not necessarily going to do anything on that screen. Or should I? Oh, sorry. That's me using not using on this calls. Okay. So loading main screen. Maybe I'll just drag drag a label here. That says welcome center send um the label itself. Welcome. I'm gonna make it bold. All right, and so I'm gonna make it um, probably forty. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's just work with this. So that's the second screen done. So let's now go back to the screen one and go back to looks to continue building. All right, so when we go to control. We need this to make a decision the if then block, all right. So I'm gonna put this down here. So I'm gonna put a condition here if the slider tone position is close to 100, that means if it gets to the 100 position, then you should do what opening on the screen. So I'm going to, um, I'll, I'll need math operation again. Okay, this time I need um, a relational operator, so I'm gonna go. Here, yeah, I need it equal to go to math, drag this, put it here. Then I think I will just, or you can just go back to slider, bring one of this out, 
change it to tom position and fix it in here so when slide tom position is equal to 100 then what should happen you should open another screen so go to control and look for this block open another screen so just drop it there so you change the screen what screen is that the main screen and that's all so let's quickly um test this up to see how it works okay all right to be able to test it you have to have um, an app called mit air to companion on your phone right you have to have that and so you're gonna have to click and connect you're gonna air companion and then from your phone click on scan QR code you can't see my phone sorry about that so I'm gonna scan it okay so it's loading okay so i can see my app right now and it's working perfectly well i wish I, I could show you the app right but it's working perfectly well it's working perfectly well now if you want it to be faster you can actually change the the time intervals here right you can change the time the time time interval i mean you you reduce it so i i eventually reduce the time interval to 10 it could be 100 but the, the more you reduce it the faster it becomes all right thank you very much for your attention in this class i hope you you learned how to build a splash screen and you were able to build yours. Thank you very much.